everyone welcome to once a day every day a thermodynamic problem <laughs> serious today before we go into uh, solving the problem let's start with a quote and here is it a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset that is so true so every day when you wake up you can wake up as a person that you want to be like for example you can say today it's gonna be an amazing day <laughs> and it's gonna be an amazing day all right now let's see the problem <laughs> area of 0 0.04 meter square all right and inside we have a mass uh, we have a gas with a mass of 60 kilogram all right and the atmospheric pressure acting on the piston is point nine seven bar gravitational acceleration is nine point eight one meter per second squared Okay, so the first thing here is we need to determine we need to determine the pressure inside. Okay, and this says if some heat is transferred to the gas. And its volume is doubled. Do we expect the pressure inside the cylinder to change? Okay. All right. So, first of all, um, we need to understand need to understand this is basically a force balance problem because pressure is force over area so when we apply pressure on the piston due to the atmosphere there has to be inside another counteracting pressure which is basically the pressure of your gas pushing it up so one is pushing it down with the pressure force and other one is inside uh, the cylinder, you know, the gas, your system is to push it up. Otherwise, the piston will uh, collapse, right? So 
the, the piston there is uh, under force balance basically so what you need to do is just uh, write a force balance equation and basically uh, solve for uh, solve it for the pressure that's it so this is our piston and let's sketch the forces acting on it okay so there is the atmospheric pressure and within the system your uh, system your gas is pushing it up with its pressure that is what is asked with the que in the question right the pressure of the gas and there is also another force here what is it can you guys figure out what is the other force acting on this piston yes I hear you correct <laughs> Another one is the weight of the piston. Remember, weight is a force. So, here is it. Weight, mass times gravitational acceleration. Weight is a force. Okay, based on that, now let's write down um, force balance. Whatever is pushing down has to be equal to whatever is pushing up. So that this piston is in equilibrium. So we know that force over area is the pressure, right? So. So whatever is pushing down atmospheric pr pressure force together with the weight but weight is a force by itself and we need to convert this pressure to force we need to write it in terms of force and we know that pressure is equal to force over area so based on that force is equal to therefore pressure times area okay so atmospheric pressure times the area of the piston with the pressure is acting on this cross-sectional area of the piston and this is plus the weight weight is a force by itself so it's just keeping it as weight in the equation and then we have pressure of the gas the system pushing it up counteracting which is pressure times the gas pressure times the area it's acting on the same area so this is the force balance and what we can do is divide each term to area, which will give us So this is what we are trying to calculate. If this is what we are trying to calculate, let's see the other terms in the equation. This one is already given to you, checked. Let's see weight is already given to you let's check and area is given to you check so that means i just need to plug in the numbers into my equation let's do that weight is m times g okay this was what i tried to calculate and atmospheric pressure is given in terms of bar so that means 
if this is in units of bar then this has to be in the units of bar so that i can sum those up okay so all terms in your equation has to have the same unit and this is given to us like that plus m is 60 and we know g is 9.81 kilogram um, meter per second squared over 0 0.04 meter squared okay so Kilogram meter per second squared is equal to Newton. So this is actually, this equation is actually Newton per meter square which is pascal because it's a pressure unit but we need it in terms of bar therefore we have to multiply this with the unity conversion ratio that is one bar is actually equal to 10 to the power of 5 Newton per meter square. This way you get rid of these and the unit left is bar. Therefore, overall, you need to divide this, you need to multiply this with that to convert it to bar so that you can sum those terms up. And this should give you 1.12 bar all right this problem is very simple i hope you guys uh, understood and if you have any questions please ask below and also please subscribe for thermodynamic problems every day and for the second part of the problem the question was asking if heat is transferred to our system will the pressure of the system will change? The answer is not because pressure, the value of the pressure basically comes from the force balance. You are not putting extra weight on top of the piston uh, that can increase the counteracting pressure inside. You are not putting any extra weight. Therefore, whatever in, is outside pushing down has always has to be equal to whatever is pushing up and whatever pushing down forces are not changing no matter what type of energy interaction takes place and therefore we don't expect pressure inside to change even you even the volume changes even you introduce heat to your system that's the answer